everyone this is Kalpana here so in this video we are going to see a theorem from integration so let's get started theorem statement prove that integral ax plus b power n into dx equals to ax plus b whole power n plus 1 by a into n plus 1 plus integral constant c for n not equals to minus 1 proof so we have to Prove that integral ax plus b whole power n into dx equals to this one. Okay. Let's consider this LHS part as i. Let i equals to integral ax plus b whole power n into dx. Again, let ax plus b equals to t. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Then you will get d by dx of ax plus b equals to d of t by dx a into dx by dx plus d of b by dx equals to dt by dx. Here b is a constant t and x are variables, a is also a constant. You will get a into dx by dx is 1 plus derivative of constant is 0 equals to dt by dx. From this you will get a into 1 is a equals to dt by dx. So now take this dx to left hand side we'll get a into dx equals to dt okay a into dx equals to dt now take this a to right hand side we'll get dx equals to 1 by a into dt or you can say dx equals to dt by a okay now substituting ax plus b equals to t and dx equals to dt by a in equation 1. Substitute ax plus b equals to t. And dx equals to dt by a in 1. One becomes i equals to integral t power n into dt by a. We have replaced ax plus b by t and dx by dt by a. Okay, so you could write it as okay. Now, we'll take this constant 1 by a outside the integral. We'll get 1 by a into integral t power n into dt. Since we know that integral x power n into dx is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus integral constant c for n not equals to minus 1. Since you're having n in the power of t, which is not equals to minus 1, right? So, we are going to apply this formula for variable t. We get i equals to 1 by a into t power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus integral constant c for n not equals to minus 1. Okay. Now, we will replace this t. Substitute t equals to ax plus b. Okay. This becomes i equals to 1 by a into ax plus b power n by Sorry, ax plus b power, you are having n plus 1, n plus 1 by 
n plus 1 plus integral constant c for n not equals to minus 1. Okay. We have i equals to integral ax plus b whole power n into dx. Now replace i by this. You will get integral ax plus b power n into dx equals to ax plus b power n plus 1 ax plus b whole power n plus 1 by a into n plus 1 plus integral constant c for n not equals to minus 1. Okay. Just a required one, right? So therefore, integral ax plus b power n into dx equals to ax plus b power n plus 1 by a into n plus 1 plus c for n not equals to minus 1. Hence proved. So we have seen a theorem from integrations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.